back to our lesson. Today I will show you the different use of kickboard. Before proceeding to those activities, we must do proper warm-up and stretch. Additional information, kickboard can be used by beginners, advanced, uh, no, basic, advanced, and competitive swimmers. For the beginners, we use this to gain confidence. Para to sa mga taong takot bumitaw. Okay, like for example, here, in this position. Lalim yun eh. Okay, here. Diba, we have a drill called kick. Flutter kick facing the wall. Like this. Do you remember this in our first video? Okay. And then, the drill called glide and kick. Okay class, Ma, may mga tao kasi na hindi sila ganun ka-confidence pag nasa water kaya once nga nga bitaw na sila dito sa edge they're not able to do the skills kasi nga they are afraid but to gain more confidence in water we need to use them especially for the beginners for example, flutter kick using the kickboard watch Going back. Head up. Head up like this. But make sure that this part of the kickboard this part is on the upper surface of the water. You can use this to pull the board down, pull the board down for your body to um, to, uh, to go upward or to go up that's for the beginner or beginners but now for basic advanced and competitive swimmer or swimmers we use the kickboard for the different kinds or type of drills especially for the legs o kaya tinatawag to na for leg workout pag sinabing leg workout na you need to uh, get your kickboard and we'll do some leg exercises and workouts to improve our legs or kick. Now I will show you the different drills using kickboard. 
first for freestyle kick or flurry kick observe Shadows one Kalimutan ko Okay Hold the bird like this, may hold na siya And like that Make sure that your arms are straight And relax your shoulders It should be level on the water Upper surface of the water And then Okay, serve Going back. Head up. Straight arms. Relax the shoulders. Continue applying the flutter kick. That's for freestyle. Now for the breaststroke, you need to you need to hold the board like this. It's the bottom part. Hold it like this. Pull the board down, okay, then chest out, pull the board down for you or for, for your body to float, and then kick, do the inverted flutter kick or backstroke kick, I'll show you. Hold your board like this, then tummy out, pull the board down for your body to go up or float, then do inverted flutter kick. Going back. Third, for the breaststroke, you need to hold your board like this or this for drills, like this. Huh? And, parang against na uh, current. Yeah. Okay? That is for uh, for drills. But if you want to practice the, uh, like for example, if you are a beginner and you just want to master the kick, hold the board like this. Okay? Just like uh, what we did in freestyle. Observe. Okay, observe. Ready. Last, the butterfly, butterfly kick or also known as dolphin kick, where you need to undulate your body to do dolphin kick. Still, hold the board, hold the board like this and then do dolphin kick. Legs together, swim like a dolphin like this. Observe. One more thing class, it can also serve as a floater. For example, now atop stroke ka, nag cramps ka, and then nasa malalim, ka na makapag swim. Hold your board like this. Grab it lang. Same position like this. Grab. Then, try to relax your body. Try to relax your body like this. For you to float. Ganto lang class. Okay, now let's proceed with the two types of breathing pattern. The one we use in dog paddle is the breathing called front breathing. Wherein you need to do breath holding, facing the water, bubbles are released in the air, 
after that get air that is front breathing while side breathing is um, like this you need to get air face the water apply breath holding and then do side breathing make sure that your your ear is close to your arm like this when you do side breathing observe get air breath bubbles get air again apply breath holding Side breathing is the one we use in freestyle. Welcome back to Aquatics 101. Our lesson for today is freestyle. Class, I am going to show you the proper arm movement of freestyle. Again, let's start with streamline position. Streamline position, dominant arm above your weakest arm or weakest hand. My dominant arm is or hand is right, then my weak arm is left. So it should be um, left first, always left first for me. But if you are a left-handed, then it's always right first. Okay. Um, let's have a counting of four. Four counts. One, two, two. Make sure that your thumb will touch your hip. Two, three, three. Squeeze your arm. It should be the pinky finger. That will exit the water. Three, four, top. Right after the top, move your other arm. My dominant arm is right. So one, two. Touch the uh, touch the hip with your thumb, or touch the leg with your thumb. Three, twist. Should be the pin, uh, pinky finger. Will exit the uh, the water. Four. Again. Again one. Two, three, twist, four, top. One, two, three, twist, four, top, top. Okay, this time we will do two counts. Start with streamline position. Left arm first for me, because I am a right-handed. This my weak arm left. One, two counts. One. Touch the leg. Two. Three. Stop. One. Touch the leg. Two. Three. Stop. Again. One. Two. Three. Stop. One. Again. One. Two. Stop. This time. One big rotation. Observe. Left arm first. One. Touch, twist, stop. Two. Touch, twist, stop. Again. One. Touch, twist, stop. Two. Touch, twist, stop. That is the arm movement for freestyle class this time we will up, we will apply that the arm movement or arm pattern in the water we will do freestyle with without without breathing so it's a combination of bladder kick and big rotation arm pulling big rotation okay so let's start now i will show you how to apply it in the water start with Streamline position, glide, kick off the wall, glide, flutter kick, and then arm pulling without breathing. It means head down, just face the water, look at the tides. Okay, while doing it, doing it, and then apply breath holding for maybe uh, five to ten seconds. Okay, observe.
That's our lesson for this week. See you next week.